welcome to another week in review here at Pop Culture. I'm Andy. I'm Jenny. And, and boy, we've got a lot to talk about today, don't we, folks? Wow. Uh, anyway, welcome. Uh, there's a lot of stuff in and around this uh, this week in review. Um, so we're going to be battling to uh, be visible, which is which is always fun. No, nah, that's always good, because you don't want to see us. You want to see the cool things. So we've covered us and just giving you cool things. As I said, I'm Andy. This is Sandy. You can see him. Uh, Bianca, Jess, Luke, we've got Blake behind the camera, and we're ready to show you a heck of a lot of fun things today. Boy, just a bunch. Just a whole bunch of fun things. So and we're giving away prizes! Namely, this Optimus Prime Ultimus figure from our friends at Super 7. But Bianca, that's not all. We've got another prize to give away, don't we? Yes, oh, we do. We have this Pride Rock backpack to give away by Loungefly in uh, the pop vinyl art style, which is very, very cool. Any pop collector would be pretty proud to uh, be wearing that one, wouldn't they? Hey! Yeah. <laughs> I would have said mine. Get out of here! <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> anyway, if you want to win surprises, all you need to do is leave a comment on the feed. Yes, the very feed you were watching. The, the, the feed where people are currently commenting, join in on them. Uh, you, you leave a comment, Luke might be picking your name at random because he's looking for me. He's looking for names, speaking random. Uh, <laughs> and he's going to put those names on our prize wheel. And at the end of the episode, we're going to spin the wheel and people are going to win prizes. Namely, the Optimus Prime action figure and the Lion King backpack. But maybe something else as well, because I'm always feeling pretty generous, folks. Uh, so here we've got heaps to talk about today. Why he's too much to talk about. Wow, 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 we really want to start with some Funko! Yeah! One thing I can move around. Uh, <laughs> Bam! 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 Somebody talk about it! Wow, there's so much here. I see a Spider-Man pop throwing you under the bus. Oh, I'm a bit excited. I do Whoa. love that pop. Oh, Bianca, can tell me all about it. It's a special edition pop, as you can see by the sticker. It is from No Way Home. It is Spidey Unmasked, and it also comes with a Chase variant what? where you can get a masked version of Whoa. it. Whoa, really that's totally cool. backwards. <laughs> But well, I like it. <laughs> I like it. If you're not a fan of Spider-Man, in case you might be a, th a fan of Justice League, well, get ready, because there's Superman doing something. <laughs> he's floating and being a cool superhero. Yeah, he's floating. It's wicked. I like the pose on it. It's really good. No, oh, I didn't say it was bad. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm glad you like it. Bismarcky. Jess. <laughs> <laughs> It's Bismarcky in a pop. He has a gold chain. Looking real dapper. Yeah. Zandy, yeah. Hannibal. <laughs> Hannibal, Silence of the Lambs. Great. Uh, you know what? I like Silence of the Sandies. Let's get back to that. <laughs> <laughs> Anthony Hopkins in the second best portrayal of Hannibal Lecter. Who's the first? Right, Matt Nicholson. Matt Nicholson. Uh, trick, yeah. or, trick or treat. We've got Chuckles. <laughs> Uh, maybe he'll laugh at you, jokes. You know what? I'm <laughs> excited about this one, Sandy. It's the first time it's a trick or treat pop. It's not Sam. It and we is. should all celebrate that by buying this pop. <laughs> it is good. There's, uh, there's a lot of different trick or treat characters that it should do. It's a great, it's a great film. Yeah. Great this rose a vibe. Um, <laughs> <laughs> my Melody Pocket Pop. Was it meant to all be pink? Yeah. Uh, look, we got My Melody Pocket Pop from Sanrio. Uh, celebrating, um, Power of the Galaxy, <laughs> uh, we have um, Sabine Wren. And if you like Apex Legends, you might know who this character is. <laughs> Gloomy Bear, Gloomy Bear. So the Gloomy Bear, I'm actually gonna, I'm gonna talk about Gloomy Bear, because I like Gloomy Bear. Maury Chak, uh, design toy artist. Uh, there's been Gloomy Bears everything. Gloomy Bear Dunnies, Gloomy Bear Jankies, Gloomy Bear Designer Toys, Gloomy Bear Apparel. And now it's Gloomy Bear Pop Vinyls, and this is a flocked Gloomy Bear, and that comes with a chance of a chase to get a black flocked Gloomy Bear. And that's pretty cool. So keep your eye out for that. Another My Melody. And Ellen the Bunny Suit from Legally Bland. And it's Diamond Glitter. Every time, I'm going to say. And let's see if you like White Man. Yeah, oh, it's uh, the DC film that um, is the best one because it hasn't come out yet. Um, <laughs> no, it'll be interesting one to see how it's going. It's no Batgirl. Yeah, <laughs> it's no Batgirl. Oh, no, yeah. rip. It's no Gotham Knights. TV series, which just got... How, how do you cancel a film that has <laughs> Brian Fraser and Michael Keaton in it? Yeah, and especially a film that they poured in like tens of millions of dollars in. Isn't it already Fraser. filmed as well? Yeah, it's uh, like done. Oh. They're like, no, we're not going to do it. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
yeah, anyway, uh, classic DC. But Black Adam, this one is coming out, unless they pull the pin on that one, uh, with a couple of weeks ago. Uh, it's cool to see all the characters as they will appear. You've got Sabak, I believe he's going to be the big bad in the film. Yeah. Adam Smasher, Hawkman, Black Adam, big surprise character there. Uh, Doctor Fate and Cyclone. Uh, it will be uh, an interesting film. And uh, if it's anything like Shazam, it'll be, uh, it'll be really good. <coughs> what if it's nothing like Shazam? Um, well, that could also work in its favour, couldn't it? Because I think that The Rock's muscles are real. And Zachary <laughs> Levi's was a suit. Zach, yeah, he's, been, <laughs> he's a big boy. He's tall. No, he's muscly as well. You okay? You look cold. No, I'm fine. I'm good. I was just <laughs> <on three>. <laughs> <laughs> um, Anyway, uh, we've got some sweet Attack on Titan anime pop finals as well. Uh, Battle of Levi, Mikasa. Uh, I don't know why Andy's just changed it up, but there's, there's a different anime there. No, well, it goes. And then across. Oh, okay. That makes no sense. Yeah. <laughs> it does when you're stacking them. Yeah, when you're stacked in the reverse way. Anyway. Um, <laughs> So we'll keep going with the Attack on Titan. There's, uh, you can't go back though. You gotta, just, you gotta, just gotta cut Attack on Titan. Berth Holt, Berth Holt, former Levi, uh, Ymir's Titan, Aaron Jagerbomb, uh, and um, who, who's down there? I think there's another Mikasa. As we will well. never know. Yeah. Um, and then that other anime, like, is um, yeah. <laughs> it is Black Clover, and we have Astro, Noel, and Young. You know, I don't think you got a single one of those right. We <laughs> <laughs> got none of them. We got Asta, you know, <laughs> and Noel. Noel got it right. But yeah, some sweet anime clubs. I don't know whether anyone's actually seen Black Clover, uh, but it could be a, it could be a good one to watch and then buy the pops. I, I say. But you, an, an anime you more than likely have seen. I haven't. Have. My Hero Academia. Actively well, it's not your, it's not, no, you're kind of cool. You're not a cool guy. I'm cool. Mm. I listen to Tom Wakes and drink red wine. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but My Hero Academia, there's some really awesome new pops, new characters. Um, we've got Yuga, uh, Hawks, which is an awesome one. You've got Yuga again as a diamond glitter. Um, and we've got Lock, 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 Lock. lock, lock. Uh, Kayoka, uh, and then uh, we got Fat Gun. Man, what a oh, nice slim, slim Fat Gun. Yeah. More like Slim Gun, alright. <laughs> he doesn't look too slim. Uh, we got Kayoka again, uh, Inasa, and then uh, Hawks. It's great. It's good. Like, like, like it. We do six inch pop as well. Giganto Tomachia. Uh, specialty series, right? Specialty series. That's right, Andy. Well done. He's cool. He's a cool looking dude. Look at him. Um, a female Titan. It's got that sweet new uh, Funko Special Edition sticker. Ooh. You might have seen those uh, roll out. Um, so gone are uh, the old Special Edition stickers and now these sweet, sweet. Oh, that's a bit of an overlap at the moment. I yeah, say, oh, I know, but like for new things. That one's just a bit of an overlap well. at the moment. Yeah. Uh, well, there's another little sticker there as well. They call them the dark. So there's a sticker, sticker galore. Uh, Black Adam, Hawkman, and Cruiser again with a bit more relevance and uh, you know knowledge of come once we see the film, but it's a cool looking pop. Uh, <laughs> My hero got a couple two packs in. Yeah, that's right. We've got Shadow Togoroki and uh, Endeavor and then uh, Gentle Criminal and a La Brava. Gentle Criminal because he's a criminal, but he's a gentleman. Yeah, yeah, I like it. I can relate to that. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> But yeah, I think that's all the, the Funko for this week. It's a pretty good amount of Funko. That's good, but that is a lot better. Uh, and we got it out of the way first, we as did. opposed to the last couple of weeks. So if you only tune in for Funko, and now you just have to tune in for prizes. Yeah. But we're not giving away Funko, so. Really high table. No, it's good. I can talk completely yeah. fine to the camera right now. It's totally appropriate. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yep. Yeah, the comfortable levels are up. Yeah, it's good. Yeah. Um, it is high, but with that, it's high time we turn talk about something else. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <look> at... <laughs> hey, speaking of talking about things, Luke, who only talks about skateboards, guess what we have here? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Whoa! No way! Skateboards! Oh, wow! Yeah, we have got these awesome new primitive boards in here. Um, part of my thing. Just shift the rest of the table. Yeah, we'll just get out of here. Really cool new uh, range from Primitive featuring Megadeth have done teamed up Luke, with. Are you a Megadeth fan? Uh, I haven't listened to him in many, many years, but um, yeah, I used to be no. quite a big, uh, <laughs> big fan of the old thrash metal. Yeah. Um, Sounds like a fake fan to me. A fake fan. Yeah, yeah. A real fan yeah. would still listen. Um, yeah, really, really cool boards yet again. Um, probably more designed around hanging on your wall than um, 
riding, but you 100% can shred these down the park, on the street, on the ramp, if you want to. Um, you got Christian Bale from the fighter. Yeah, right there. <laughs> got um, yeah the uh, Countdown to Extinction uh, deck there. Peace sells, but who's buying? I probably will, and you should too, because these are rad. Um, <laughs> And you've got the Rust in Peace there as well. These two featuring Megadeth's uh, figurehead and uh, mascot Vic Rattlehead, of course. For people who are familiar. Is, and, is uh, sorry, Sandy, is, is, is The Fight of the Go To movie for a thin Christian band? Look at him. Like, I know you're thinking of like The Machinist. The Machinist. The Machinist is definitely the Go To thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 you got to reference a Skinny Bale. Yeah, I know, but The Fight is actually a good movie. <laughs> <laughs> Good job bailing him up on that one. <clears throat> um, on the back of these decks, you also got some really cool classic uh, Vic Rattlehead uh, Megadeth graphics on those. But that's not all that's dropped with uh, this Megadeth Primitive range as well. There's also some really cool stickers that they've brought out as well. And I believe some apparel too, but I don't think we have that here with us today. Cool. <laughs> also cool. Very good. shiny. This one, Ooh. also good. You should buy it and stick it on things. Wow, this is good. See, so, look, uh, that one's actually pretty cool. I uh, like the really um, the reflective nature of all the little bits and bobs on there. Mm. Mm. <laughs> and some, I don't know what they're doing. They're just getting busy with Vic. Little boys. Yeah, little demon guys. <laughs> little demon guys having a time. <laughs> That was fun. <laughs> I, I was listening to like said little boys. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. Primitive skateboard, get into it. Keep talking, Luke. <laughs> He's panicking. He's panicking. Come on, He's I'm panicking. Go. Skateboards is all I know. Do I didn't get back to my wheel. Quick, quick, quick. Do, do, do. Lounge fly, lounge fly. Things. Stuff. Lounge fly. What, what would you like to talk about? What do you want to talk about? What, what grabs your fancy? No, nah, loose, loose doormats all the way. Because he likes curtains. Welcome to bedrock. Oh. Flintstones. <laughs> so you need your out. <laughs> let's, like, let's get Josh back. Oh, I feel like I've hit bedrock bottom. <laughs> um, I'm not mention him for one. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> if you like Flintstones, you should probably get one of these for your front door. Or bed next to your bed. <laughs> oh. Wow. wow. I'm only here for the pizza. Oh. Classic turtles. If you're into Ninja Turtles, probably want one of them too. <laughs> I don't know how to talk about doormats. You're doing great. <laughs> Attack on Spike. Welcome, Scouts. Here's a show I know nothing about anime doormats. It's, um, that's, uh, um, Attack on Titan. It's yeah, it is Attack on Titan. Yeah. It's right there. Uh, we got Welcome to the Batcave from the Batman 2022. Uh, sweet new Batman symbol. And then the classic Batcave. Uh, ooh, Peggy, you'd like this one. Yeah, I'm obsessed with this one. I love Garfield. Look, it's Garfield. Beware of the cat for some Aww. reason, but I love the colours in yeah, it. It's so like vibrant and lovely. Ted Lasso. It's awesome to see some Ted Lasso merch out and about. Uh, t Team Lasso as a doormat. <laughs> Uh, nice, nice, nice one. Yeah, if you want to set last pop mm. we'll get a pop culture exclusive one. Currently up for pre order. <laughs> wow. Pre order. <laughs> great. Thanks, Andy. That was great. Um, yeah, I, it's probably almost record time. You reckon? Yeah, I think so. That's what my watch is saying. Is it true that? <laughs> yep, true. Sure it says records. Hi. Hey Jess. Guess who? It's me again talking about records. I hear you every week. Yeah. Talk about the Power Rangers. Talk about the Power Rangers. Um, let's go through what I have. First off, if I can grab it. We have CDs. Crazy. I know. Weird. Start off with we've got Surf, Mull, Sex and Fun by uh, Mentors Anything. Uh, so this All is just things are fun. Yes. <laughs> Um, so this is just a compilation CD of all of their songs. The only song I know is The Nips Getting Bigger. But it's a cool little CD. Good for your car. Good backup if your ox cord breaks. 
can't go wrong. Um, again, what? another good backup, Odyssey number five by Powderfinger. Shut up, Sandy, I heard that. <laughs> <laughs> um, classic Powderfinger album. Of course, it's got songs like These Days and My Happiness, classic classic Jane songs, um, and probably one of their best albums. And you can have it as your backup in the car. Thank you. Um, let's get back to the vinyl. Let's go back to some bigger discs. Uh, first up, we've got Queen, oh. the greatest hit. Nothing like some big discs. Queen, greatest hits. Um, when I was doing my research on this one, I actually found out this is their number one best-selling album, just the greatest hits one. I don't know how I feel about that. Uh, but it's got everything. It's got Bohemian Rhapsody, We Are the Champions, and We just, Will Rock. Just all the greatest just, hits. Just all the greatest hits of the Queen. Because mm-hmm. it's the and greatest you could be a hits champion album. too if you buy one of these. Get right it out of my hand. Why do you do? <laughs> um, <laughs> I can't. <laughs> uh, oh. <laughs> do, do you want me to hold no, this? No, fine. I'm everything's fine. There's a table right there. No, it's fine. You took away my little stand thing. Now I'm having to hold it. <laughs> anyway, back to it. Uh, almost famous. <laughs> Um, personally, one of my favourite films of all time follows the story of Will, 15-year-old kid who's following the uh, imaginary band, not the imaginary band, the fake band called Stillwater, uh, and writing for Rolling Stone. Um, this is a really great... Uh, is that America by Simon 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 Garfunkel, Garfunkel damn right it does. It's got... Jam. That, it's also got, uh, what's it called? Where's my favourite one on here? I'm Waiting for the Man by David Bowie, which is a cover of The Velvet Underground. And of course, we've also got Tiny Dancer by Elton John, which actually helped that song chart again when this film was released in 2000. Because they sing it in the bus. They sing in the bus when they're angry at the man because he was a golden god and took too many drugs and then they're all seeing Tiny Dancer and they're happy again. Speaking of which, hey, look, it's a Tiny Dancer LP. I planned that. <laughs> <laughs> um, so this is Elton John's Man Man Across the Water. Really cool pressing. Of, they call it a propeller pressing because it kind of looks like a propeller and it's blue and white. Or a ye olde boiled sweet. It does. It really we can does. go with that. You know what? You know what? You email them and you let them know. <laughs> oh, well. yeah. Good job on your That looks sweet. like a ye olde boiled <laughs> sweet <laughs> from a shop with double peas and an egg. Um, but yeah, really classic album, really cool pressing. Uh, this is the 50th year anniversary. So again, we've got Tiny Dancer, we've got Levon, and of course Holiday Inn. All the good songs on Pretty Color. Yes, I'm, I'm, I'm very impressed because I actually shuffled those before I put them on the table. So yeah, no, no, when you weren't looking, I shuffled them back. <laughs> <laughs> um, next up we have Kendrick Lamar, The Pimp Butterfly. Probably one, I think, one of the greatest rap albums of all time. Um, it's got songs like King Kunta, All Right, and Wesley's Theory. Um, just a really great concept album. I believe this was released in 2015. And a really, a, honestly, a must-have if you listen to hip-hop and rap music. Um, it's just a really great album to have. And I really like the uh, cover where it's just a bunch of people at the White House. Someone's dead on the bottom. Just chilling. What? Oh. Down on the bottom. He's got his little eyes crossed out. Oh. Like He's not having a good time. He's not. No, he is not alright. There you go. <laughs> cool. Next up, we got Dire Straits, Brothers in Arms. Another classic. So we got songs on here like Walk of Life and Money for Nothing, which is a great, Ooh. great Ooh. song. <laughs> I hear someone singing. Um, <laughs> let me have a look. Yeah, so Money for Nothing, Walk of Life, Why Worry, Ride Across the River. Really cool, really classic. I like it. You should buy it. Luke. <laughs> uh, next up, celebrating 25 years, Spice Girls on this really awesome pressing of uh, the original album. I believe they refer to it as the Zoetrope, which is actually a form of animation. So when you were to spin this on your record player, it would actually make it look like this, like little animations happening yeah. as it spins. That's cool. Yeah, which I reckon is a really cool thing for the 25th anniversary. Of course, this just has the all you want, want to be. If you want to be my lover, you're going to get not with my friends, please. Uh, <laughs> and also, you've got uh, To Become One and If You Can't Dance, which is really cool. Really nice. And I don't know more artists don't do that. That's cool. Yeah. Next up. NWA, straight out of Compton. Crazy motherfucker, no advice. <laughs> <laughs> um, what can be said? This album's great. Um, am I holding it's fine, it? this isn't live. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. I just went with it. It started, and I was like, all right. <laughs> we'll, uh, we'll beep it afterwards. It's fine. Uh, classic album. I actually, looking at this, I don't know if I can say half things on the back of it. 
and it's cool. But if you like rap, if you like classic 90s hip hop, I'd go with that. 100%. Next up, Last for Life by Iggy Pop, another great album. So this is the second album that Iggy worked with alongside David Bowie to co-produce. This one he is taking a bit more of a punk sound going back to his time at, in the Stooges. Um, it's got songs like The Passenger, 16, and of course the title track, Last for Life, which is a really great album, really highly recommend, and it's a good, uh, what, what's what am I trying to say? Place to start <laughs> if you want to get into Iggy Pop. There's a terrifying album cover. He's just smiling, mm. he's just happy. You know what it looks like? It looks like those essential uh, CD compilations. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Johnny Cash has got one like identical to it, and it's like the essential Johnny Cash. And it would say like the essentials in red up in the top. Yeah. Uh, never mind the bollocks, here's the Sex Pistols classic punk album coming from the UK. Got things like Anarchy in the UK and God Save the Queen. Um, again, just a really good classic. If you don't, you know, if you're starting to build your vinyl collection, this is a great place to start. Make sure it's in there. Put in your discogs and be happy to spin it. There's that one. And to finish it off, we've got Baker Boy Galar, which is his first album that he's produced. Previously, it's just been a few EPs and stuff like that. So this has songs like Survive, My Mind, and Medigen, which you might recognize from, I believe it was used in the 2020 AFL ads. Um, and it's really cool when you buy this album, you can actually use a filter on Instagram to activate the album cover and it will do a full animation through your phone, which is really cool. Mm -hmm. And this one's also pressed on a limited um, orange vinyl, which is very nice. Really good if you just want to get into Baker Boy and celebrate his first album coming out. But yeah, that's all from me. That was for the Lucy Goosey for the vinyls <laughs> this week. But um, look, really good selection. Of course, we have the playlist that happens every week. So if you want to jump on there, have a look, have a, all these songs are on there, have a little bit of a listen and have a gaze and buy the vinyls. But yeah, that's all from me. Good work, Jess. Thank hey, you. T's King wants us to talk about Loungefly. Loungefly. <laughs> all right, let's start off with one of the prizes we are giving away this week. It is this Lion King Pride Rock. Um, backpack in the style of pop vinyl. So a collaboration with Funko, cute little characters everywhere, and a cute little uh, Simba enamel, enamel zipper charm there, if I can speak <laughs> properly. There's also a matching wallet with Rafiki mm. and uh, Simba all grown, looking <laughs> lovely and heroic on the back there. <laughs> At first I thought it was Mufasa, but it's not. <laughs> um, next up, we have this really cool collection from Lounge Fire that's just landed from Pixar's Cars, which I know Sandy is yes. a big, big fan yes. of. This, this is great content right here. <laughs> that. Oh, ciao. <laughs> ciao. <laughs> and the cool thing about these is that they actually do glow in the dark as well. So the neon signs, uh, when you're in the dark, they do light up like a real motel sign, which is really, really cool. I'm glad you said motel. What? Because no, it's more jested. It's a joke. Um. Don't bring out my past mistakes, Andy. <laughs> <laughs> right, next up, we have this really cute exclusive backpack. So this is the Figaro and Cleo cosplay mini backpack. It's so, so cute. Um, so Figaro peeking over the top of Cleo's bowl. We've got one of Geppetto's... Um, so what would you call it? One of his cuckoo clocks? Bird. Yeah, cuckoo clocks. Yeah, that's it. One of the little characters from his many, many cuckoo clocks on the wall. And then, cutest part on the back, Figaro's tail even moves. <laughs> I love it. And he's and they're all dancing and having a good time <laughs> together. Um, so, really, really cute one. Definitely recommend picking that one up if you're a big fan of Pinocchio. And speaking of cats, hello kitty. <laughs> <laughs> this one's just landed today. It's adorable, cute little ears over the top, applique bow. Just a really nice, simple, stylish kitty white backpack. <laughs> Um, next up, we have in Loungefly's Princess Story series. These are the accessories that have so much going on everywhere. It's like scenes straight from the film. So if you want to carry around um, accessories that really encapsulate Sleeping Beauty, this is for you. So we've got stuff going on everywhere, right around to the side pockets and all the way on the back as well. And much the same with the crossbody here. There's just, there's scenes everywhere. It is scenes galore and there is a matching wallet as well, which is really cool. Uh, next up, Legend of Korra. Don't know too much about the show, but these are some really cool accessories. We've got some applique going on here. 
um, in the, I think it's the bending arena, something really big in the show. <laughs> Thank you, Blake. <laughs> <laughs> and we've got Cora um, on top of this guy who I don't know. <laughs> Naga. <laughs> Thank you. And and this guy is the Enamel Super Charm. Pabu. Thank you. <laughs> And then we have this really cool um, wallet of Cora leaping into action. And then all these other guys on the back. <laughs> Some other dudes. <laughs> I don't know all their names. Again, I, I disclaim, I have no, no knowledge of the show. <laughs> uh, next up, part of Lounge Fly's Castle series, Frozen. Uh, so this is really, really cool. Um, it, basically, these collections just celebrate the beauty of Disney castles. So there's a wallet, there's a backpack, there's a cute little... Um, enamel zipper charm here and it actually hides a hidden uh, front compartment as well which is really cool and there is a crossbody that also matches very very cute uh, next up we have this really cool little collection here so this is a star wars collaboration with an artist by the name of jeffrey brown jeffrey brown is famous for doing some books and comic strips of Darth Vader being a typical dad to um, Luke and Leia instead of everything else that happened. Not canon. No, it's not <laughs> canon at all, but it is adorable. So it features some of the artwork of him just being a regular old dad, just doing his best to raise two kids. But yeah, this is a really cool, unique little collaboration. Next up, we have this adorable Kanga and Roo bath time mini backpack, which I am a big, big fan of. So it's all made to look like Roo's having a bath. It carries on into the side pockets. There's a cute little heart-shaped bubble up there. And there's also a back hit here of all, all the other um, friends from 100 Acre Wood just, you know, hanging out in bubbles. Literally hanging out in bubbles. <laughs> So that is a really cute one there. And last up, we have the Avengers Tattoo Series, so part of Lounge Vice Tattoo Line. So it comes in a backpack and it's just full of color and stars and just the Avengers in traditional American style tattoo art. But the really cool thing about this is that there is a crossbody that not only comes with a very bold looking strap, but a bonus coin purse as well, Captain America Shield which is really, really cool. I'll throw my coins in there. <laughs> <laughs> or one really big coin. Yeah. It's up to you. And that's all we've got from Loungefly. All right, well, oh. that is exciting. Sandy, you've got a new toy that you've been really eager to demonstrate for us today. Uh, oh, yeah, the sword. Uh, <laughs> yeah, this is an awesome uh, Hasbro prop replica. Uh, we want to crowd around the edge because Sandy's going to need some space. Yeah, Sandy yeah. is going to need some space. Uh, this is yeah. from Money Morphin Power Rangers. This is the Red Ranger Sword. As you can see, it is uh, wonderful. Uh, you've got the little sweet uh, Tyrannosaurus Rex emblem for the Red Ranger. But this thing is awesome. Uh, it's not metal, so it's plastic, but you could still do some pretty good damage. I, I, reckon. Try. I have tried. I have tried. You've got some nice little buttons here on the side that make sound effects. Wow, you can do this one. Well, that gets him fired up too. Oh. <laughs> and uh, yeah, this is great. This is this is this is amazing. This is next level. Uh, I really enjoy this. I reckon we can leave this on and uh, we yeah. can just keep keep the episode going. Yeah, well, we've got a couple other life-size replicas from uh, yeah. from Hasbro. This one gonna want to want to want to talk about Sandy. So uh, yeah. we'll just put that one. We'll just put that one away. Um, so we've got some Star Wars ones. Um, it's okay, I'll turn it off. Uh, but I really highly recommend that. You can jump around all you like, uh, do some sweet swinging noises, and sound effects. Being made of plastic is lightweight enough that you can. Yeah, exactly. Yep. The perfect combination would be that uh, sword and the bedrock uh, <laughs> doormat. <laughs> yep. Wipe your feet before you jump around. Yep, that's right. Before you jump on the bed. Um, we got uh, yeah some awesome black series helmets as well. So yeah, this is um, Wedge Antilles from the Mandalorian. I think that's right. Is that right? Huh? I don't know. Uh, but he appears in one episode, uh, and we've got a black series one-to-one -one scale uh, helmet replica for him. 
it um, does make some sound effects. It's got surround sound in there, so it's not really super loud. But when you do put it on, it's it's uh, you know it feels like you're actually, or you can imagine that you would be in there. They've got starship sounds as well and light ups. It's really awesome. The microphones. Yeah, I was I about to say you should put it on. Okay, well, maybe I would. Trap the wolf. Trap the wrong. Yeah. We do have a wedge until it's. Yeah, we do, but it's not yeah. that one. Yeah, I know. So uh, but yeah. Oh wow! Well, if only you guys could hear these sounds. Uh, they're pretty cool. Um, so you put it on before and left the room and I was really concerned about it, that I was hearing things, but no, it's just <laughs> atmosphere inside of a helmet. Yep, yep. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, it's great. I feel like I'm a pilot. Um, mm. and oh, you know what I mean? Oh, I'd be like, uh, that's oh. me. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, awesome. Yeah, you're gonna leave it on. <laughs> no, it's alright. Uh, it's a, a sweet Darth Vader helmet here as well. Oh, um, and, uh, it is removable, so that's just magnetic, so that's why Whoa. that does that. Uh, it is three parts, so you can even take off uh, this next um, aspect and just have the, the collar. <laughs> it's alright, it's okay. Uh, it does have a button on the side as well for sound effects. Um, what sound effects is that like? Yeah. Was that a surprise? Uh, no, but it is satisfying. Yeah, it's very satisfying. Uh, this one's awesome, so it's more modelled off of the appearance from Obi-Wan Kenobi. Um, and it, so it's got a kind of different look and different colours, but really awesome because uh, now the out-of-production Hasbro um, Darth Vader helmet is in new new and refined. It yep. uh, has improvements off the old one, so if you missed out on the other release, or you do have the other release, there's definitely more advantages to get on uh, this one. So. Yeah, awesome. I love all of these uh, replicas. Definitely the power sword is uh, the way to go, though. Um, not power sword, that's Master of the Universe. Um, but Red Ranger sword, I reckon, if for nothing else, but that sweet title track from Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Um, but those are the uh, replicas that we have from Hasbro. I've got uh, a couple of other Hasbro items, uh, which we'll talk about from Star Wars, uh, the retro collection. This is Chewbacca in a prototype edition. Uh, really awesome uh, thing about these is that you can get multiple different color designs. Uh, these are all lucky dip, um, so there is the possibility that you'll get one of six designs. Unfortunately, you can't request them. Uh, but as you can see, there are different colors, uh, and all of, they use all of these in the making of action figures, or they used to at least, uh, to determine and be able to look at the sculpt more closely and look at the sculpt as it would kind of... At, as itself, as opposed so to... So they just use like whatever random bits of plastic they have left over lying around, right? To inject the moulds with, to, to create the sculpt to have a look at. Yeah, correct. So instead of being distracted by the final uh, colour, they'd be able to actually look at, all right, well, um, the head's kind of all, all right, or what other details can we throw in there? And then once they were happy with that, uh, they could then look at how they wanted to paint it up. Um, so yeah, really awesome to see all the different um, variations on it. Like I said, there are six different variations, um, as you could expect with having six different colors on that. Uh, really nice foil background as well. Uh, these are really awesome and uh, would um, yeah really recommend getting these ones. As I said, it is Lucky Dip, so unfortunately you can't request um, certain different um, color schemes, I suppose. That's half the fun of it though. It right? is, That's it the is. Deal. Um, but, yeah, it, they're awesome. I really like it. Uh, there were a couple of other ones, or there will be, so um, plenty more to come and look forward to. Wow. Wow <laughs> is right in. Uh, Transformers are the, uh, the other Hasbro items that we have uh, from Shattered Glass, which is an IDW comic book. Um, it, uh, you see some really awesome characters as they appear from the comic. Uh, so you've got Ultra Magnus here as a leader class action figure. Uh, Autobot Blaster is a Voyager class, uh, and yeah, really awesome, uh, different other colour schemes. Uh, you will have seen the characters before, uh, and same moulds and sculpts, uh, but yeah, the big variation is the, the colour schemes, more appearing as uh, they do in the comics. It's pretty, pretty groovy, yeah. Sandy. Pretty groovy? groovy. I, think, uh, I think that the packaging is really groovy as well. Yeah, it's groovy. It's, mm. it's, a, it's a blast. Mm. <laughs> Blaster. Mm. All right, let's just rewind and yeah. pretend we that didn't happen. Do a rewind yeah. sound. <laughs> That's pretty good. That's good. <laughs> uh, from Transformers Bumblebee, uh, the 2018 film, uh, the start of the film, uh, there's kind of the Cybertronian element. Spoiler warning. The start of the film. Yeah. The start of the film. 
Do you have an attention span like Josh? <laughs> <laughs> Iron Hides, they're on Cybertron. Uh, with a lot of these ones, they actually didn't appear in the film, so, but Hasbro have decided to uh, use the concept designs uh, for the other different characters and try and uh, pr uh, pretend or uh, realise what they would look like if following the same scheme. So he's not in the film? Some of them weren't. I actually don't believe Iron Hide was. So or, you're not spoiling for them? Well, the, at least the vehicle mode wasn't. Okay. Hmm. Uh, really <laughs> awesome, there's a full range of these ones, uh, so I definitely check those out. That's all from Hasbro. Wow. Hey, look, we've got some new games in. Yeah. I'm talking about that, got some Pokemon cards, some, uh, some, some stuff at the back, you know? I don't know anything about this. <clears throat> we've got from Cryptozoic, Luke, I'll save you. Please uh, tell me about it, Luke. <laughs> uh, we've got a DC deck building game. This is the Crisis Collection. Uh, uh, great uh, card game. Uh, and uh, yeah, you, you can play with these packs or you can keep uh, expanding your previous collection. Um, that's, that's the DC deck building game. There are heaps of different expansions or different formats that you can use. Uh, so check out the full range. Uh, there's Dune as well. You might know the Dune? book. Dune, <laughs> Bonnie Dune. Um, uh, I, don't, I don't know, mate. Whatever you want Dune? it to be. It can be whatever you want. Sure, do you want to talk about it? Uh, <laughs> if you've seen the movie, you've seen the you've seen the the, the film uh, or read the books. Um, you've seen the, the books. Uh, this is the board game, uh, and you can play the board game, uh, and it looks looks pretty fun to me. Big old sandworm yeah. on the front. Does uh, sandworm from Beetlejuice? Uh, and no, 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 <laughs> no. Sandy's not wormed his way out of this one. Uh, those are the board games. Unfortunately, we don't have Mystic Mike uh, to tell you all about those. He'd be the he'd be the go-to guy. But the web descriptions will be probably apt uh, for you to. <laughs> so, uh, so Brandon, just follow the link. Brandon, yeah, me. exactly. I would recommend Pokemon. Blake's favourite thing in the world. Uh, we've got some sweet new expand. Uh, special collection box sets. A Seus V. Did I say that right? I don't know even what you're pointing at. Arceus? Arceus. Arceus from Transformers. Yeah. Uh, this is the RCSV figure collection. It does come with a little figure as well as some booster packs uh, and some sweet Arceus. Uh, oh, an Arceus. Arceus <laughs> foil card. I don't know, mate. Um, but uh, yeah, really awesome. So a uh, mix of sort of shield booster packs in that one. It looks like there's four or so. I'll say 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 i will 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 say <laughs> Mine, mine's bigger than yours. Um, so, uh, but this also comes with booster packs as well. And a pin. And a pin. Mm. Wow. There's um, a whole lot of stuff going on in here. There it's is a cool. lot. And hence Premier, I suppose, is making, making a little bit more sense now. Um, we've got a couple more items. Got the uh, Pokemon uh, uh, Kanoa, I think, uh, Lucky Mini Tins. Um, or they're the Sinoa ones. It's on the back. I can't. Yeah. What are you trying to say? I don't know. It's like region, isn't it? Sino, is that right? No. Sino, yeah. yeah. That's a region. Yeah. 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 Sino stars mini tin. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so these are mini tins. They have different designs on them. I think there's around about six different combinations. Again, can't request them. It's kind of a luck of the draw, but all the contents uh, will be very similar. Um, I think you, you'll get a pack. Or it's on. The, it's on the back. You can you can read that, Luke, if you want. Uh, and then we've also got a uh, sweet Pokemon tin as well. Uh, not only do is this you... a lunchbox? Yeah, uh, well, yeah, you can effectively either A, store your cards in that, no, you wouldn't or do that. Uh, use it as a lunchbox. 100% um, it's a lunchbox. Yeah. yeah. It's to be the, be the cause... a sandwich in it? A peanut butter sandwich. It's not a lunchbox, it doesn't have a sandwich in it. Um, but that is Pokemon. Some pretty cool stuff mm. there. Hey, uh, we've got some cool plush uh, that has just come in. We do. We've got some new zipper mouse from the Nightmare Before Christmas. We have Sally, we have Jack, and we have Oogie Boogie, which I think suits this look quite well. Considering now, the zipper mouse, do they in some ways zip? They do. 
This one can't zip all the way. No, it can. You just gotta shove it in. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh lord. <laughs> Thick. Ah. There we go. One full mouth. Zipper mouths. <laughs> Full of bugs. As experimented by Andy Pride in the show. <laughs> no, the mouths are actually really deep. You can get like a whole hand in there. Oh. <laughs> oh. I can get this far. <laughs> <laughs> Zipper mouths. We also have this. Dun, 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 <laughs> called Bruce the Shark Plot. Now this is from Factory well. Entertainment. <laughs> What's really cool? You can open up his guts Ooh. and you can find all the things that he's in there. <laughs> You actually can. <laughs> you can find all the things that he's ingested, which are of course cute little references from the movie, including a bit collar, which makes me very, very sad. But Where's the little boy? Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Anyway, Bruce the Shark from Factor Entertainment. There is also a smaller version of this available, although I don't think he has things in his guts. So if you want things in his guts, Get the big one. Get the big one. Get the big boy. Uh, got some cool new uh, other things from Factory Entertainment. <laughs> oh, Alright, fine. <laughs> Namely this one-to-one -one scale replica from the Goonies of Skeleton Key thing. Mm. Is it a key? Is it a no. So I'm looking at you, you're not <laughs> helping me. Yeah, you threw me on the bus too many it times is. today. Solid metal. You could hit someone really um, good with that. What appears to be a real leather strap. Oh. It may not be. Oh. Um, uh, but it's it's actually really really nicely detailed and um, it's got a really nice patina on it, um, which is cool. Really heavy. Yeah. Bob Burns skeleton key. Key. See. See. Did you not say key? I said key, but he was like, <laughs> Sandy. Uh, from James Bond, uh, we've got some sweet prop replicas, uh, notably Live and Let Die, the tarot card set that Solitaire uses. Uh, in the film, reproduced in high quality as it does appear in the film. Really nice artwork on these uh, cards yes, as well. Yes, yes, yes. Can you use this as a tarot set? Um, yes, you can because this includes the major and minor arcana, by the judge of it. Ooh. Although there is some why is there so many lovers cards? Uh, because that's how, <laughs> many, that's how many she has in the, or used in the set. Um, she doesn't sound like a very good tarot reader. Yeah. But anyway, there's a full explanation in here, uh, on the back, <laughs> uh, and uh, describes the original props and how in a normal tarot deck you would have uh, 78 cards. This one only has 27 because that's all they used in the film. Uh, so this is an actual prop replica. As so it's just... So you can't replica. use it. No, you cannot. No. 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 Well, what if my future is in those other cards? Well, unfortunately, Blake, I can only tell you the future that I want to. <laughs> we'll do them later. We'll yeah. do great future yeah. later. Uh, but yeah, one of the great uh, James Bond films, Live and Let Die. The other great James Bond film from Sean Connery. Golden Eye. <laughs> Dr. No, Andy. Um, <laughs> the sweet uh, casino plaques. Uh, that you see him use at the very start of the film. Uh, these are replicas uh, of the uh, money chips uh, or plaques, uh, and uh, they're not real, uh, mm -hmm. as, as stated, um, for display only, uh, no cash value. That's uh, because the, the ones from the film were actually lent <laughs> from a real casino. casino. Oh, so they don't want us uh, rolling back in with these <laughs> back in the same replicas? No, no, they don't. Uh, but yeah, I think this is really awesome. Uh, and uh, yeah, you can look. You can look exactly like Sean Connery's James Bond right there with your with your your wad of casino flies. Must look like a good wad. <laughs> hey, right. we got some cool new things from Playmates. Do you like awkward collaborations? I, I sure do. Um, oh, yep. Check it out. We got some really really great collaborations between Stranger Things and Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Of course, together with uh, us. <laughs> You've got uh, you've got uh, Leonardo with eleven. Yeah, so this is uh, based and on Kevin Eastman and Laird's uh, original comic book. So that's why they're both uh, wearing red bandanas. And also Stranger Things. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. First one. And you've got Hopper with Raphael. Is the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles license okay? Because they seem to be just pimping them out um, to everybody. <laughs> <laughs> no industry talk, please. <laughs> <laughs> but if that wasn't all. You get scared because you got Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Oh, but this one's, this one's cool. <laughs> um, so there you go. The uh, Michelangelo, he's taking on Chun-Li. Chun, Chun and um, 
and that's it's a really good set. It it's styled like a video game screen with a with a environment backdrop and yeah, really just fun fun little scene. They're posed in the box, which is really cool. Um, and um, if that wasn't all, we also have Leonardo taking on uh, Ryu. Um, but uh, this is actually based on um, the game in which I think they actually did do that. No. Oh. Uh, so this is the 35th anniversary. Um, okay. So it's on the just back, there's like artwork that suggests yeah, it was a real game. Yeah, that's just all modeled for the original oh. game. Uh, no, yeah, but this collaboration's in um, celebration of Street Fighter's 35th anniversary for this year. Uh, and um, it's just collaborated two massive franchises uh, that span both video games. I really like this um, this Hopper figure and TV shows. Is he hot? His mustache is pretty sweet. Oh, he's not very hot. <laughs> <laughs> um, we got some cool figures from Super Seven in, and um, well, let's <laughs> talk about it. Um, <laughs> Maybe down. Um, <laughs> We got, uh, so we waited for Disney Ultimates. Disney Ultimates, obviously, Ultimates, uh, Super 7's premium 7 inch scale action figure uh, line, which, uh, unparalleled uh, to anything else in the industry, they are definitely the best figures available uh, from any manufacturer at any point in history. So, mm -hmm. I would definitely recommend jumping on these because they are incredible and because they are tapping into a huge amount of licenses with a huge amount of deep cut references, characters, etc. Namely, this figure right here, which is um, Prince John from Disney's Robin Hood. Never in anyone's life would they think, hey, I'm looking forward to picking up a Prince John action figure, because no one, no one was ever going to make it until Super 7 were like, we got you. So <laughs> here we go. Prince John with three different heads. Uh, he's got his little snake prince in, you know his name. Ah, uh, yeah, it's snakey. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's so good. Fake fan! <laughs> Fake fan! <laughs> Little John Silver. Yeah, you know, other little details like the multi um, mixed media robe and stuff that they've got. Oh, some soft goods oh, in there. Goods. Uh, uh, so we got Prince John from Disneyland. We have Disney's Pinocchio, and we got uh, Sorcerer Mickey from Fantasia. Sorry, Becky, you were going to say something. Then. I was just curious if Prince John can suck his thumb like he does in the film. So you guess so. Put his thumb. Fingers and mouth. Oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> um, there there might be an interchangeable hand where his thumbs out, um, but... Just I, because I can see that hand... Can't see like past, I can't see past the glorious soft good robe. Um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, really, really great set. Definitely jump on that. Another first line, uh, first wave of, uh, of Ultimates that have come in is of course the Transformers line. Now we're giving away this Ult Optimus Prime action figure because it is incredible. Uh, and this is uh, probably the, the figure with the most kind of deep, deep cut fan um, service references. You have uh, basketball. You've got uh, a surfboard. You've got pretty much every weird thing that Optimus Prime did in the Transformers series translated into 3D form in this action figure, which is really, really cool. Um, Doesn't look like he's got a thumb. Okay. Oh. Oh. That's a bit of a shame. But don't let that put you off buying it because you're never going to get another Prince John action figure. So. While he might not be able to suck his thumb, this action figure does not suck. <laughs> we're gonna yeah, we sure. wrap up. We're gonna wrap up. <laughs> um, a couple others that have come in from the Transformers Action Masters toy line. So these are ones based on previous uh, <coughs> toy releases. We have Bombshell and we have uh, Bandai Tron down the bottom there. Uh, and of course from the Transformers uh, series slash movie slash. Uh, this is from the movie. Yeah, we've got Ghost of Starscream. Starscream at some point dies. And turns into a ghost and it becomes all glittery. And what they've done with this is give it a really nice kind of like design and toy treatment, but they've actually cast the uh, the mold with glitter as well. So um, really cool translucent finish in that, which is they they become ghosts. Uh, yeah, like, they have souls. Uh... <laughs> uh, it's cool. They have sparks, but sure. Anyway, <laughs> uh, we've got another line of Thundercats uh, Ultimates in. Um, we've got uh, Lynxa, Monkey, and Pumara, and Snowman of Hook Mountain. Uh, I think this is wave four of the uh, Thundercats That's correct. line that has come in, which is pretty cool. And um, Super 7 put a couple of figures back into production when they did announce the Thunder Tank uh, Ultimates accessory vehicle. Um, uh, namely, uh, Mumra, uh, the Ever Living, is now. 
available again, uh, first time in pop culture. This is from the uh, first wave of second wave of uh, Ultimate Figures, uh, but uh, they've gone back to production, so you can get this must-have character for your collection one final time. Uh, really, really great, really, really great figure there, which is pretty cool. Um, and if you're a fan of Conan uh, the Barbarian, well, look no further because we have two new Conan the Barbarian action figures for you to pick from. We have Conan the Barbarian with war paint, and we have. Uh, you put the wrong one. I put, I put the wrong. <laughs> put the wrong one on the table. That was supposed to be Thulsa Doom. We have a Thulsa Doom <laughs> action figure that is somewhere in this building that we will show you next week. Um, <laughs> but you can get two different versions uh, of Conan. We have the other version of Conan yeah. as well. But yeah, notably yes. the one that we wanted to show you was Thulsa Doom. Uh, it's a really awesome. <laughs> what a train wreck. Um, <laughs> but uh, yeah. Conan Ultimates, really awesome. Wait, as with every Super 7 that the we get, it's huge. So we're going to show you some more Super 7 stuff next week. So we'll slide that back in. Yeah. Little <laughs> yeah. uh, we got a couple of Super Size figures to come in as well. Uh, these are numbers 2 and 3 in the Disney collection. We've previously had... Um, Sorcerer Mickey. No, we've had Mickey. Taylor Mickey. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Brave little Taylor Mickey. But uh, we now have, uh, from Fantasia, uh, uh, Ben Ali Gator. <laughs> Um, and from Pinocchio, um, Pinocchio. Um, I love that. I think it's amazing. Yeah, it's pretty cool. So, so these God. are premium adult collectible pieces. They, um, they have, uh, slight, uh, slight, uh, articulation. They're, they're very much a designer toy piece rather than kind of a, a, an action figure piece. Um, uh, with that, they do have kind of like basic articulation, but the, Quality of the construction um, on these ultimates, uh, certain ultimates, the, the super size figures is, is really, really great. I've collected a couple of the, the Peanuts um, line of super size, uh, and these Disney ones um, very much in the same vein, just as good quality. You've got uh, tailored outfits with soft, good material, um, and just an incredible likeness of the figure and a really, really high quality finish on them. Uh, ben Alligator, soft, good hat, uh, cloak, and just a really great alligator sculpt um which is just awesome um bold colors uh well executed definitely recommend getting these they're on the pricier side of things but um definitely an investment piece and one that you're definitely not going to regret picking up because there's such a statement it just turned up it's also doom so yeah. conan the barbarian if you're a fan of conan the barbarian then we have two new conan the barbarian action figures to show you <laughs> namely conan the barbarian in warping and also dulce doom with uh, snake heads because snake priest thoughts to doom. It's got two different uh, iterations of the snake head um, and a uh, great likeness of James Earl Jones and um, and a cloak. Get the snake arrow and a snake arrow that he, he pulls his snake out as Luke says it and straightens yeah. it and then yeah. fires shoots it at people. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh. <laughs> The exact <laughs> wording Luke is no, 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 no. it. shoots it into people. Yep. All right. Just in that. Thulsa doom. Um, you can look under the cloak, and they actually sculpted armor under there. So I wasn't a perv, I was doing product. Armor. You're a perv. <laughs> um, That's but everything. That is everything <laughs> we have to show you, and it's just enough time to give away some prizes. So. You're lucky, because if we went over time, you would not get those. <laughs> everyone, we're a, hard, we're a hard out today. <laughs> uh, so we have names on the wheel, and those names are going to dictate who is going to win a prize, but not the names themselves. No, this little red. Tab. Little red tab. Little red tab is going to yeah. point to a name after we spin the wheel. What are we going to give away first? We are going to give away the Loungefly, the Lion King. Who's lucky winner for that one? Let's find out. I was just about to ask you to do that. Like the wheel, the wheel! Like the wheel! <laughs> Dave Stanton. That's who I wanted to win. Oh, yeah. Yay, Dave Stanton. Dave, you've done what? <laughs> Like, who do you want to win? Who do you want to win? <laughs> I don't think I should say beforehand. Do it, do it. See if you can. See if you can okay, who are Give someone a random. Oh. Give mine, Blake picking does not make you win. It's no. <laughs> if anything, it makes you more likely to not win. It's um, a consolation prize. I want. Also, we're going to need your name, your email address, and your shipping information. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cruz Diaz, Cruz. you're about to win. Alright, fingers crossed. Cruz. <laughs> let's find out. Uh, let's give it a spin for the Optimus Prime. Ultimate Transformers action figure from Super 7. Come on, Cruise. And everybody else. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Go, everyone. 
I'm How? So... I did the thing. I moved the thing. I'm so sorry, Chris. I'm so sorry, Dave. We have to <laughs> spend it. Yeah. We don't. We don't. We don't double up prizes here. Um. No double downsies. It's a good spin. I thought yeah. the last one was too. Somehow. I'm... Nah, this has a good energy. Yeah, you feeling it? <laughs> feeling it? Hasn't jinxed this one. Feeling it? <laughs> Ooh, Belinda Kingston. Congratulations. Mm, also good. Have fun. <laughs> the Optimus Prime Super 7 Ultimate Action figure. Please send us a private message on Facebook with your name, personal information, and your email address. And we'll get that sent out to you next week. We're going to give one final prize away this week. And I think this week's prize that we are going to give away will be... Uh, hmm. Uh, hmm. Uh, the shark. We like the shark. Yeah. 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 We've used it, but we're giving it to you, so... <laughs> <laughs> oh. All hand in here, man. <laughs> How many can you fit in there? No! Oh. no. <laughs> Come on, Cruz, I can believe you. Oh, oh, oh I'm Tameka. so sorry. Tameka, so congratulations, you've won the shark. Um, if you want to send a private message on Facebook with your name, personal information, email address, you won't just win the shark, you'll win the shark's contents as well. Uh, lots of good things in here. Uh, so please, private message, Facebook, name, postal information, email address, and you'll be getting a little Brucey of your own. Um, guys, it's been a week in review here at Pop Culture. Be sure to tune in next week, 4.30pm, uh, Friday, uh, for another exciting episode. Until then, uh, be sure to have a good weekend. And until then, be sure to have a good night. <laughs> and until then, I'm Andy, this is Luke, Jess, Blake, Bianca, and of course, Cindy. Uh, Pop Culture... We can review team. I don't know what they're called. Have fun. Bye. <laughs>